All right, baby, just sit back and relax. As good old Teddy Bear 22 takes you through Udex Gun Tier. A tutorial, boss, that ain't so fucking easy now, is it? But it actually is. Anyway, just figured I'd let this sexy fire show you guys what's up. Yeah. I'm actually going to start the tutorial here because some people just don't seem to know what they're talking about. Anyway, Dark Souls 3 tutorial on how to defeat champion Gondir with every single class setup. Let's go. So, this first area is really fucking easy. You just have to hit all these enemies once, they die. Simply just skip all of this because none of it is relevant to anything in the future. Just kind of run past this boy. Swing. And he is dead. Thank you for your 20 souls. Anyway, as you can see out here is the edge of a cliff. Do not walk on that. Walk on this nice little hill that's perfectly designed for you to walk up. Yes, I know it looks a little steep, but in popular Dark Souls fashion, you can see the shrine bonfire. Also, there's a boss in the way. So we're going to kill him. Anyway, here's your first bonfire of the game. Right. You're gonna hop on, on this little baby and you're gonna go yee. You can sit down if you want the rest emote, but for me, I don't think I need to. So I'm gonna just pop on over here. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Hit that pop the rest emote that nobody uses. Anyway, so you're gonna pop on by these enemies. You're gonna swing twice, because now they're a little bit tougher. You're also going to sprint and press L3 to do a nice little jump to grab this first little Titanite shard. Yeet. They'll come in handy later on in the game. You'll do, you'll walk off the edge and press R1. Hopefully you won't glitch like that. You can't glitch through the map, but it is a popular way to uh, get fucked. Anyway, press triangle to switch to one-handed. Most people will not be able to use the parry shield here. So, I just want you to switch to your two-handed with your sword. Pull out this nifty little device here that is stuck into his fucking chest. As you can see, the corruption is in him. Walk a little bit to the right here. Start hitting him as many times as you possibly yeah. can. Press L3 to lock on. And continue to just dodge his attacks with circle. And get one or two hits in every once in a while here. He does not do a lot of damage. So, just keep rolling every time he does an attack here. Oh, I'm going to tank a little light damage here, but that's fine. You know, popular Dark Souls fashion. Get him while he's down. Because he turns into a demon. Hit him once with the fire bombs. And you'll start doing some interesting damage here. Stay on his left side and you will avoid most damage if you just roll to the left and pretty easily kill. Honestly, pretty nifty. Just stay in the center here and you probably get him pretty easily. Anyway, light the bonfire. You put the coiled sword in there. And then proceed that way to the uh, shrine. Anyway, uh, this is a mercenary class. I forgot to start the fucking thing. Anyway, uh, he has dual blades that actually don't do a whole lot of damage in the dual form. Actually, they don't, they don't do a lot of damage at all. So that's why you're just gonna fucking dodge around a lot. And just kinda hit him. Oh fuck, that one. That was an interesting attack there, Goon Deer. You're a dick. Oh yeah, I like his shoulder crash maneuver. I'm gonna drink real quick just because why not? Ow. Anyway, that's uh, his, whatchamacallit, visceral attack stage. And just keep throwing firebombs at him. In this state, uh... Yeah. He takes a lot of damage from firebombs, so... Pretty easy. Not a whole lot. Uh, that's why I like to choose the fire bombs for uh, newcomers because you just press square to throw them 
after you lock on with L3, and you can just do a whole bunch of fucking damage, so... Yeah. Anyway, we'll jump for joy. Thanks. So, hello to Tutorial 3 video, where, uh, we play as the Warrior. Now, the one good thing about this class is before you want to start the battle, you want to, uh, go to the two-handed, so press triangle. And the, uh, weapon ability here is War Cry, which temporarily boosts attack, so you want to do that before you initiate the battle. Pull out the thing from his chest. I would stay one-handed if I were you. And just start wailing on him right off the bat. Four attacks. You got some good damage in there. You know, just avoid his attacks and whatnot. It kind of makes you immune to some of the attacks as well. So it's really good. Of course, while he's doing this, I'm gonna fucking throw firebombs. You know, it's fine. Whatever he wants to do. You can drink a lot when he's doing this shit. Like I said, this uh, war cry, it's really good. Because you can not only take a couple of attacks from him, but you can also like stand your ground and fucking wail the shit out at the same time. So, pretty cool. This stupid fucking judgment! So, it's always, it always pays to be uh, this class because... Honestly, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Now the tutorial's down. The hero class is actually really amazing because not only do you have the, uh, you know, long spear who has a long attack, doesn't do as much damage. But you've got a nice little thing here. I did damage on purpose, just so I show you. Press left on the D-pad. You also have a nice little uh, trinket that allows you to heal. I can buff the heal and I can heal. So yeah, the uh. Uh, let me go through here. The uh, special little thing this thing has, the talisman, is it has undivine prepared to temporarily increase poise or cast miracles preventing any attacks from interrupting prayer. So this thing is actually really fucking dope, and it's great in PvE and PvP because you can be tanking fucking damage while casting uh, miracles. So you can be, let's say, uh, uh, infusing your weapon with a more potent attack, or you can be healing yourself and people. And it's really, it's really nice for tanking like damage, like uh, if you were to be doing that, you can uh, heal, but the thing is, most of the time, you have fucking shit where you get, like, healed with one arrow or whatnot. Anyway, I'll have the sword, start the battle, like usual. Kind of slightly, just start with this is character you want to start mashing the R1 immediately because the damage is real not, really not great with the Herald. But I don't mean that he's not a bad character. It's just, Lundir is, hey, it's strong, relatively strong starting boss. So you just want to, like, two hits and then kind of wait for an attack. Just kind of let it go. Anyway, I did an extra one just so I could do a little boost of damage in there before I wait for his Ash Crash maneuver. Then you just kind of get out of the way, back up a little bit from him. Because he likes to do a lot of range attacks like that. So just kind of keep your distance. And at the same time, just kind of stay close. Stay at medium range. Once you run out of firebombs, just, like you said, stand on his left side. Just keep poking him. His attacks are always mainly to the right. So, yeah, he's not really that difficult. You just gotta stay relatively medium distance uh, on his left. So, yeah. Uh, assassin class. I did skip one class. Because I will go back to him for the last. Because it is my favorite class to start with. Anyway, this is the assassin class. It is a, uh, fucking piercing weapon. Which, in this boss fight, isn't great, but still, it's alright. Um, anyway, just start off immediately, two-handed. Start poking the ever-loving shit out of him if you can. You do have a parry shield on you when you start the game with the assassin, but... For people who do not know how to parry, I figured I would start this off without parrying. I suck. I'm gonna have to drink one queer. Queer. Here. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Boop. Boop. The assassin's not great, but... It's alright. Yes, just use your fire bombs. If you don't have fire bombs, just get down the left side of him and start beating the shit. He does his patented ass crash maneuver, which can be dodged by simply walking out of the way, pretty much. And you can kill him. Yet again. Pretty easy. Just light your fucking stupid fire. And then you can attack with your shield. For no reason whatsoever. Yay! Anyway. Next tutorial! The sorcerer, I always, uh, the sorcerer's wand is always in the right hand, but I like to switch it up and go in the right hand and put it on the left hand because I just don't like to have my main weapon and my sorcerer's wand in the same, you know, right hand. Anyway, L1 is how you use the wand then. 
Okay, here's a soil and a heavy soil. Heavy soil does more damage. The blue stuff is how you recoup that. Anyway, it's really not super effective against Gundir, but still, if you want to keep your distance from him because your weapon, your mail breaker is that good. Makes sense. Is that good? Uh, it is a good thing to uh, you know, have to keep your distance from him because the mail breaker is fun. But for I don't know, it's mainly for parrying things. When you parry, and you can do more damage, I believe. Is oh, you can see right here. Yeah, it's got 125 critical. So it's not really meant for up close and personal battles. And I drink this, it's like full health. But yeah, just start off right off the bat. Pull it. I'm gonna try and get a little more advanced here because I watched a couple of these, so just right away going for the attacks because you can. Don't waste all of your stamina because sometimes you like to go for one attack, which I can't parry today at all. But yeah, it's smart. When you drink Estus, they usually go in for attacks, so I'm gonna just back up and show you guys. You know, Sorcerer can do this. Pyromancers can do this. You know, Heralds, they can do certain light attacks, clerics. Then you can just, you know, get that damage while being a little bit further away. Especially being C is kind of intimidating for first players. And fire bombs do a lot of damage. Uh, even your magic does a lot of damage, honestly. But still, not that intimidating of a boss fight. You can still work your way out of it pretty easy. Just, you want to keep your distance. Not too bad. Alright, see this one I started. This is a Pyromancer. Uh, they have the Pyromancer hand, and I forfeited bringing the back blum, black bombs or anything. Just because I wanted to showcase the Pyromancer. And how you don't really need anything because for starting, the Pyromancer automatically defeats everything this boss tries to uh, dem d demoralize. Pyromancer just beats it in every way. So, yeah. Just because I have this fireball means that this guy will die very quickly. And not only that, being able to have it in my left hand while I have my fucking axe in my right is also another big factor of fun. So, what I do is immediately start off putting it in my right hand, two-handed, swing a little bit. And just get some good damage in. And you can unto hand and just start wailing these fucking fireballs in because they're ridiculous. There's always two attacks on that one. Ass crash maneuver, Sarita, and dead. Like I said, real easy. We look out into the open. Yes. This boss was an easy feat. Yay! Da 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 Get where you love. I had to do one more thing before I close this tutorial out. I was ranking from the baby dude to be always throwing up. Blah. And my name is Ronnie. I'm an addict. Because I want to show off the cleric. The cleric has a parry shield and a mace. The mace is pretty awesome. It, it's a uh, special ability increases poise, so it allows you to get hit without losing attacks. Also, it starts with two spells, two uh, miracles, heal and force. So force, like, just completely ass blasting in the direction that you want them to go. And I love force. It's better in PvP because you can, like, direct better. But yeah, of course it's pretty cool. It's a little bit better directing wise in you know, PvP. But they also get heal in force, so it's a pretty good class. You fucker. The uh cleric's main weapon the mace is very slow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, the cleric's fun. Uh, mace is actually a really good weapon. But I'll just kill the boss real quick. Two-handed is usually the way to go with the mace, because it's a little faster. And it does more damage. Two, three, four, hey, sexy boy, that's a wrapped around my finger! L-O-V-E, just because it doesn't mean much. Sorry, I'm listening to the phone while making this. I hate myself. Anyway, you can see the cleric does a good amount of damage. That is a visceral attack state. Pretty much the same thing as parrying. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. Oh, shit! Just kidding. Nothing's really scary with this boss. That's actually kind of scary. Go, go, baby! Like I said, this is still not that scary. As long as you just kind of get around these attacks. 
His ass crashes also not that fucking scary, but you know. Light the fire. Again. I need to those doors. Yeah, not a whole lot. It's better. Pretty impressive what I'm doing here. Honestly, though. is happening. Okay, still, what I did was actually pretty impressive. I'm kind of happy with that, actually. What I did was still kind of impressive. Even though it's not right at all, I'm still gonna dig it. I'm digging it. I'm taking it. Peter yiffing out, man. Peter fucking yiffing is out. <laughs> okay, that's of course gonna do damage. Bye bye. We'll see. All right, fuck face. This is happening right here. My favorite pace yeah, with the deprived class is that Goondir sucks ball sacks. Fuck you, man. You're gonna die. Nope. Grab those. <laughs> Smack your bitch ass! Smack your bitch ass! You bitch ass. Poop snake. Oh, you're in visceral attack state. the fuck was that? Punch! 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 Fuck you! I'm tired of doing this! I don't want to do this fucking glitch where I push you out the side for like three hours! I'm done! I quit! I give up! <laughs> My life is done! I quit! 